everyone, this is Sally with the Polka Dot Life. Well, it's almost here. The end of celebration. It makes me a little sad, but it also makes me happy that we will have two celebration periods this year. I wanted to share with you today my favorite celebration item, and that is the Berry Blessing stamp set and the very delightful designer series paper. Let's flip the camera down and get started. I wanted to hop on here to bring you a very timely reminder that tomorrow, February 28th, 2021, is the very last day of this celebration event. And I wanted to spotlight my very, very favorite gift item out of that celebration catalog. And that is a two part, you get two items. It is with a gift with a $100 purchase. So it's a nicer offering and it has the Berry Blessings stamp set and the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. Now these items also coordinate with a product or two from the January to June catalog and that is the sweet strawberry stamp set along with a strawberry builder punch. I use the stamp sets kind of interchangeably and then on a few items I did use the punch. Mostly I fussy cut things because I kind of find that relaxing. I also wanted to spotlight our note cards and envelopes. They are only $7 for a package, and that gets you 20 cards and envelopes. They're offered in both the basic white and the very vanilla, and you will find those on page 153 of our annual catalog. These are, some people think that these are a second-rate product. That is nothing like the truth. These are great quality items. As I've told you before, I am a stationary snob, and these totally meet my specs. These are great for if you need to do a lot of cards in a hurry, if you're traveling and you want to make a lot of cards, these are a great portable thing. You could do these on an airplane. It's great. And so I wanted to show you that I made mine some simple, some quite a bit more stepped up. So I wanted to show you these and they each um, focus on one of those papers from the designer series paper pack and it's kind of one side is the berry one side is a coordinating print so um, this one says wishing you the berry best and this is done in blackberry bliss and um, some of this new ribbon is so pretty it's it looks like it's a um, very stiff ribbon, but it's actually very pliable, very nice to work with. I used my alcohol marker, my Stampin' Blends, in the Blackberry Bliss, and I colored our rhinestone gems. And I just put some of them here in the corner just to add a little sparkle. This one, I did use some of the stamps, and I went ahead and I did mine fussy cutting just to give it a little bit of dimension, not a lot of dimension. I could have done it straight on the cardstock, but I also, you have to kind of mask this a little bit whenever you're stamping with it, and I didn't even do that great a job on this one, but um, I just wanted to have just a little texture raised up from the writing area, but it just adds such a nice little color to the inside of your note card. I used all pretty much the same basic formula for these cards, but some of them I just switched up a little bit. I cut a base color layer, then the designer series paper layer. Then I used our layering squares and I just used two, you know, dies from there. You could vary this up. If you like a little more of this color showing, you could choose a smaller square. If that, if you like that better, you could certainly do that. I utilized a lot of punches on my cards for the greetings, and I just added some gems, and I think that this one is super cute. 
I love the sayings. That thank you. That was so sweet of you. I just thought that was really, really nice. A lot of my cards will also feature this adorable mason jar. This is from the Flowers for Every Season suite of products, and it is a punch. And there is a, this is the stamp from that also, from that suite of products. I just, a couple of them had short greetings, and so I stamped those right on the jar. And then I didn't want to cover up this designer series paper, so I just put a few of these gems. Um, these ones, I believe, were from the Holiday Rhinestones, and I think those are still available. If not, just get that one plain package of basic rhinestone jewels, and your blends can color any of them. Now, that's the alcohol marker, not the Stampin' Right marker, but you can color pretty much anything with an alcohol marker, and it will stay. This is the white twine from the Snail suite of products, and I just took my Stampin' Blend alcohol marker again and put that on a piece of scrap paper and just took that brush end and turned it on its side and I just ran it along this and dyed this with my granny apple green alcohol marker. Inside, I took one of the strawberries from the designer series paper and I just fussy cut it out. I thought that it was super cute and I could have used the punch, but the punch would cut off the top and I could have done both, but just for the sake of time and doing these a little bit more quickly, I utilized that tool. They are both tools from Stampin' Up. You get to choose. Do you want to stamp and punch? Do you want to use the images that are there and punch them or cut them out or punch them out? I could have punched the strawberry and then made a top for it but I just thought that I would just go ahead and fussy cut the whole thing out. This one, I love, love, love these colors in these papers. These are my jam, these are my people, they speak to me. I love these bright colors. I would like to say that I use Pacific Point, but if you have been with Stampin' Up! for a while and you have some leftover blueberry bushel, that goes beautifully as well and it would be a great opportunity to use some of that up. Again, I just took that white twine from the snail set and took my alcohol marker, and this one was in Night of Navy, and I just colored that. I colored some of those gems as well, and I just fit them right into that pattern of that designer series paper. And this one, um, I stamped and then fussy cut out just to give it a little bit of color on the inside. I was just really in a blackberry bliss kind of frame of mind today too. And this, like I say, this is the first I've worked with this ribbon and I've been dying to use it. This was a perfect project for me to try it out. I made a triple bow. I just put this ribbon around before I adhered this layer. Again, I colored these rhinestones and I just think that is such a happy card. Now, I didn't finish the rest of these on the inside. I will do those um, after we're finished, but I just wanted to show you that I started working on these this morning and um, it took me a few hours. I ran some errands and did some other things, but they went together very quickly. It's not a lot of hard cutting, not a lot of crazy measuring. This is from the Flowers for Every Season pack as well this ribbon and I just love even though some people I have heard say they didn't really care for this I think that if I would have used this on this layer flipped it the other way around um, that makes a great card a masculine card that you could make a thank you card or a birthday card if you're struggling to find one for someone that you love it that would be a great alternative for a paper I just love this mason jar. I love the greetings from both the strawberry stamp set and the berry blessing stamp set. Again, these were from the holiday pack, but you could just as easily make your own. This one, I just thought I'd change it up a little bit and just fussy cut around my greeting. I didn't want to cover up this beautiful paper. 
And then I just used one from that sheet that has the images on it. I cut out a little blossom. I put the gem in the middle that I colored. And I just thought this one was really cute too. Who wouldn't smile if they opened one of these? This one, I just put some gems in the corner. Again, Fussy cut out this greeting. This, I kept the twine white as it was and just wrapped it around that layer for something different. You are not going to be sending all these cards to the same people. So, if you want to make each one of them exactly alike in mass production, in assembly line format, go for it. No one is going to come and rat you out. But if you want to take your time and be super creative with them, you can do that as well. I think this one is one of my favorites. I love this gingham ribbon. And this paper grew on me. I didn't love it at first, but I, once it was put together, then I really, really did like it. And I just think that this is just jade and this paper worked well with that. But the just jade is woven into the greenery, I think in all of these greens. And I know these aren't quite closing properly, but I wanted to just show you, I made nine cards in just no time at all. And so you could put together from a 20 pack of note cards and envelopes, you could make five sets of cards uh, for each. You could put them in one of our acetate boxes and you have so many choices to decorate them so, so sweetly. I hope that you love this paper as much as I do. And I hope that it inspires you to get your order in today for your products. Get some of your basic products and then you can choose this as one of your free gift rewards. And if you've already earned it, I hope that this inspired you to try some of the note cards and envelopes and just give them a whirl. They are just great for so, so many occasions. As always, remember to be kind, send a card, and do something creative. Bye-bye.